Hey there, Louis Akabals here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to be previewing a new Microsoft Teams feature called Excel Live. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. Lastly, if you find my content helpful, consider supporting me as a creator by becoming a channel member. You can learn about all the awesome perks that are included with my channel membership by clicking on the join button below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now Excel Live in Microsoft Teams is a feature that was announced earlier this year at Microsoft Build 2022. Now, essentially what it does is it allows meeting participants to collaboratively edit an Excel spreadsheet right from within the Microsoft Teams meeting window. Now using this feature, you can actually see the changes that other meeting participants are making to that spreadsheet in real time. And it's meant to kind of streamline collaboration in meetings. Now before this feature, if you wanted to collaboratively edit an Excel file in a Microsoft Teams meeting, somebody in that meeting would actually have to open that file in Excel either for the web or the desktop application, and then would have to either share their entire screen or share the window. And other meeting participants would have to do the same for you to be able to see those edits. Using this feature, you can now just quickly click on the Excel file. It's going to embed that Excel spreadsheet directly in the meeting window, and you're going to be able to see all of the different changes that are happening to that spreadsheet in real time. Now let's go ahead and let's have a quick look at how to use this new feature. All right, now to use Excel Live from your Microsoft Teams meeting window, you wanna click on the share button and you want to scroll down in the share content menu and you'll see here the Excel Live preview option. Now again, an important note at the time of recording this video, Excel Live is only available in the public preview program. Now, if you're interested in learning how to enable the public preview program in your Microsoft Teams desktop application, I've included a link to my tutorial showing you how to do that in the description below. And you can also click that card in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now, this is going to show you a list of the Excel files that you have stored in your OneDrive and Teams. So you can go ahead and select one of these. Now, if the file that you are trying to work on in your meeting is not displayed, then what you want to do is just open that file in your desktop application or directly in Microsoft Teams. And then once you've opened it, it's going to appear here in the list. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click project plan so that we can collaborate on this file in this meeting. Now, this is an important note. When you're using Excel Live and you select your Excel file, what Teams is going to do is it's going to prompt you to share that file with the individuals in the meeting. Now, the reason for this step is, again, this file may be stored in your OneDrive or perhaps in a team that some of the meeting members may not have access to. So this step is just going to grant them edit permissions to that file so that they can collaborate on it in real time. So you want to go ahead and click share. And what you can see here is that the Excel spreadsheet is now shared in the context of the meeting so that you can actually edit this in real time collaboratively with your meeting participants. Now, what's really cool is again, you can actually see where the other participants are in the meeting. So you can see here that my colleague Diego is adding a note to this cell. You can see here that the typing is happening. And in a second, when the typing is completed, you're just going to see that cell update in real time. Now, I have noticed that there is a bit of a lag between when I actually enter a value in a cell and when it shows up in the meeting. So I would expect that as this feature makes it into general availability, we're going to see a little bit better performance. But for the time being, it is still a really awesome feature for editing Excel files in real time. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that this feature also supports individual views. Now, what does that mean? Well, what that means is that every participant can actually be in the Excel file in their own area of the file without affecting the actual 
presentation or the sharing of this file. So to demonstrate this, I'm gonna draw your attention to the tabs of this workbook. So Diego has gone ahead and created a new tab called Diego's Notes. And so Diego can actually be in the tab called Diego's Notes while I'm in the updated task list and he can continue to work in different tabs. And at the bottom of his meeting pane is going to be a button that says resume following the presenter, in this case, Luigi Ecobellis. And if he clicks that, it's gonna take him back to where I am in the spreadsheet. So again, it supports individual views, meaning meeting participants can kind of just be in the Excel spreadsheet wherever they need to be doing their work. And the presenter can be in a different spot and it's not going to have any kind of impact. Now, the other thing I want to note is that you do have access to the full feature set of Excel. So you can see here as I place my cursor at the top of the ribbon, it expands and I have access to all of the different tabs in the Microsoft Excel ribbon. So again, full functionality of Excel, just directly embedded in the context of this meeting window. All right, now the last thing that I want to talk about is filtering data that is stored in your Excel spreadsheet. So I've applied my filters here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to filter this list to only display tasks that are canceled. Now, if I click apply, that's going to update the list for everybody. Now, what's really cool about this again is that an individual or a meeting participant can filter a list and have that view apply only to themselves, just like you would if you were working in Excel online. So it does give the ability for individual views so that users can be manipulating data, can be looking at different data sets and not impact what other people are seeing in the meeting. And the last thing that I'm going to show you here is a really awesome feature that allows you to easily catch up on changes that were made in this spreadsheet. Now, if I just place my cursor on the ribbon here and I click on the three dots, I can click on this button called catch up and you can see here this hyperlink that says show changes. So if I go ahead and click on this, what this is going to do is this is gonna bring up a panel called changes and this is just going to display a summary list of the specific cell level changes that were made to this spreadsheet. So you can see here, I can easily click on these cards and it's going to quickly bring me into that specific space in this spreadsheet where those changes were made. So again, this is a really, really awesome and powerful tool that is going to make collaboration in Microsoft Teams meetings that much more effective. So that's it. This was just a preview of the new Microsoft feature Excel Live that allows you to collaborate on Excel spreadsheets in the context of Teams meetings in real time. If you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. Once this feature hits general availability, I will be creating a tutorial video, a how-to video showing you how to fully use this capability. I'm Louis Akabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.